Hello there, welcome to Redditor, where we shamelessly ask you to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it, and where we say to smash the bell and hate ourselves for it while we go down an existential crisis mentally that slowly eats away at you day after day, video after video late night of editing after late night of editing, until one day they find you on the roof barking at traffic with your underwear on your head blasting turn down for what from a speaker stuck in your, whoa, sorry blacked out there for a second. Anyway, on with the video. Enjoy. R slash mother-in-law from hell. Mother-in-law has no boundaries and is trying to get rid of me. Sorry this is hella long, but get ready because I'm seriously going to write a book about this woman one day. Monster-in-law doesn't begin to cover it. My husband, M28, and I, F23, have been married for just shy of two years now. Our anniversary is in a couple weeks. We got married after not dating that long, and I didn't meet his family until a week or so before the wedding, since he's from another country. Everything was fine. I could tell my mother-in-law was a little overbearing, but I had a million other things going through my head at that point. Red flag hash one was when the family, mother-in-law, father-in-law, brother-in-law, and grandparents-in-law decided they were going to join us on the honeymoon since they would be in the US for a couple weeks after the wedding. Mind you this is April 2018. Um, no. So we took a 4 day honeymoon and they joined us for the 2 weeks after. They, of course, wanted to stay in super fancy hotels and whatnot which we could not afford. They said they'd get us a room. Great. Or was it? Turns out we had to share that room with my brother-in-law, who's super cool, BTW. But my mother-in-law and father-in-law don't have a lot of respect for personal space or privacy. Hell, we were new lie what's sharing a room with my husband's brother, so we kind of told him to leave the room for a bit, while everyone got ready to go in the room across the hall. He got the gist. Out he went. My husband put the little lock on top of the hotel door, not sure what it's called, and locked the door itself so he thought. So we are having naughty time as married couples, especially new lie what's do for the first time in several days. Suddenly we hear the door open and jam with the outlock. My father-in-law is yelling in their language, son, why is the door locked? Let me come in. You shouldn't lock us out. You mmmm. What if I'd been getting dressed or something? You can't just barge into people's rooms, even if you've got the other key. I heard my brother-in-law yelling and my husband told him to get the f out. Fast forward to April of 2019. We go to visit his family in his home country. We surprised his family with a trip because we knew his mom would be super happy. So everything is great when we get there for like an hour. Essentially in the time we were there, she did several things that made me insane. I'm a private person. I like my personal space. My mother-in-law would literally go into my husband's old room where we were staying to go through and organize our stuff while we were gone. Except that also included our dirty clothes. The woman was literally folding my dirty underwear and putting it in the suitcase with my clean stuff. We asked her to stop to no avail. I should also add that I studied another foreign language in college which belongs to a minority group she hates. She literally got in my face and screamed that I was going to die at the hands of those dogs one day. Yeah. I damn near lost my shiz. Literally three days in I was calling my mom crying because I wanted to come home. A couple months after we left, mother-in-law announced she was moving to the US to work for their country's embassy here. Oh, and she'd be living with us. When my husband tried to backpedal that, it was a big sob story of, oh, you don't want me to come. You don't love me anymore. I knew it. My husband felt trapped because his mom and dad were basically guilting him into letting her live with us. I begged and pleaded for him to at least set a deadline. Two or three months to get here, get settled, and find a place. I felt like that was more than reasonable. But I was also confused as to why she'd be leaving behind her husband, aging parents, and youngest child to come here. My gut told me it was about to get ugly, but I tried to brush it off as her wanting to start another career. September 2019 comes, and she moves in. A few days later, my husband had already made plans to go to an event with the men from my family. 
He suggested I take my mother-in-law to the mall and try to bond deep breath okay. We get there, and after a bit I checked my home camera to see how my dogs were doing. We'd just adopted another one, whom my mother-in-law hated and cried that we were trying to deter her from coming. By adopting him insert I roll here I see they are tearing up a dog bed. So we head back home which was like 5 minutes away. I told her I'll go in, clean it up, put them in the kennels, and she can go back to shopping. She said it was fine, and we'd just stay there. So we are sitting at my kitchen table, and she looks me dead in the eyes and says, I'm going to lay it all out on the table. I'm here to take my son back to our country. He doesn't belong here with you. Only I can take care of him how he needs. I know him better than you or anyone, and I know he's unhappy here. You can never be enough for him, but he won't tell you that. Trust me, I see how unhappy he is, and I feel it in my heart. I'm here to show him that I can take better care of him, so he will come back with me. What the hell? My jaw dropped. Honestly I should've kicked her out right then and there, but I was so mad and flabbergasted I didn't even know what to say. I literally just got up and walked away. That night I talked to my husband about it, and at first he tried to make excuses. He thought I was exaggerating. But then she told him the same thing the next day, that he needs to just go back. So he screamed at her and said she can't say that stuff, and especially not to me. Then she has the audacity to get in my face and scream and call me a liar. I'll have to bullet point other things because it's too long to even type. Standing outside our room listening while we have naughty time. Trying to hit my dog, who was recently rescued from being a bait dog. Saying our house was dirty. I'm not good enough slash low class. I'm middle class BTW. But I'm not scared to be out in nature or with animals which she sees as less than. Saying my family and I don't respect him for who he is, his ethnicity. Calling us fat. Yeah I could lose a few pounds. I was actively trying to at the time. But stress makes the pound accumulate on me, and she is a stressful person to live with. Trying to buy everything, and throwing money around, because we don't make anything also falls. Making fun of my job, waitress while I was applying for full time positions, which I landed a couple weeks after she got here. Hand washing dishes poorly, i.e. gunk still on them, and then putting them away instead of using the dishwasher like I'd asked. Storing pot slash pans in the oven, which I don't do, and subsequently many were ruined, since I don't check my oven before turning it on, because nothing should be in there. Taking our clothes out of the dryer and folding them, I'm weird about people touching my clothes, but especially my underwear idky. I've been doing my own laundry since I was like 13 though, so I just have my way of doing things. Asked for her and my husband to go get a massage for her birthday. Cries and emotionally manipulates my husband whenever he doesn't give her enough attention. Their country has mandated military service. I asked if that included dual citizens she said yes, unless they get approved to have it waived. Otherwise they can't enter the country between the ages of 18 to 24, F, or 18 to 26, M. Otherwise they'll be arrested at the airport and shipped off to a base to serve. I said, yeah no. Over my dead body, will I allow another country to kidnap my child and force them to fight in some endless war they have nothing to do with when they've been raised here in the states? Her response was, you Christian women always say that, in a mocking tone back quote over my dead body well it's their duty to serve so they will. I think tf not. My husband took over that one because he saw my face and I literally blacked out I was so angry. If there hadn't been a table between us, I will have assaulted someone for the first time in my life. Thankfully my husband feels just as passionately, but is more level headed and let her know in no uncertain terms, that the children we have in the future will be US citizens and nothing more we will not risk them, nor does she have any right to say what they will and won't be, or how we should raise them. Nope. We'll literally say one thing, and then 10 seconds later completely deny she said that, and contradict herself she's seriously got issues. I already told my husband I'll never leave our kids alone with her, because honestly I don't trust her. Am I wrong in this? Throws money around, like she's rich when in reality she's roughly $100,000 deep in debt, but wants to judge us, because we don't just take out loans, in order to live above what we can afford but again, she thinks she's better than me, 
makes my husband take her shopping multiple times a week refuses to drive herself anywhere she ubers to and from work every day. The list goes on. It eventually broke our marriage and I left. I came back only after he promised to keep going to marriage counseling and to finally stand up to her. The counseling helped and eventually she showed her own beach. In my opinion it's emotional incest. Like she sees me as her competition in every way. Everything is a comparison between her and I are cooking, our clothes, our countries, etc. Our marriage honestly came out stronger on the other side, but man was it hard. She finally moved out like a month ago after 6 months of living with us, but she still calls him every day and asks him to come over multiple times a day. If he doesn't talk to her via text, voice message, or call for more than a few hours, she calls crying and asking why he doesn't care about her anymore. She also gets my father-in-law in on it and he berates my husband whenever he doesn't try to appease his mom. Hell, I know my father-in-law doesn't want her back because he said so. He said it's nice to not have to deal with her every night. He just comes home, watches TV, and goes to bed. They all know she's a full-time job, yet the pawn her off on my husband, like it's his turn to babysit. It's exhausting. He's there almost every day for hours which is fine, since business is slow due to Mexican beer fats good with a Lyme disease, but once things pick back up I don't know what's going to happen. My husband sees now how manipulative she is, but he feels trapped. He told her she's a narcissist and a sociopath, but she literally didn't respond when he told her this and asked her to get help. I just need her to go back, but her family there keeps encouraging her to stay. Ugh. She's got heart issues and just tonight she was having a lot of issues and almost had to be hospitalized. My husband stayed with her until the wee hours of the morning as any good son would, but we can't be there for her 24 over 7. It's too much. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just venting, but also sharing my nightmare of a mother-in-law story. I'm sure I left a ton out but that's the gist of it. Sorry I was so up along, but congrats if you made it this far. P.S. Her own parents told her to shut up and leave us alone and stop being so horrible to me love them. Update. My husband and I had a long talk about boundaries last night. He agreed he needs to be better about maintaining them. We talked about not answering when my mother-in-law and father-in-law are being crazy. Even the other day, he wasn't at her house for very long and I could tell something was up because he was acting weird, but I didn't push it. When we talked last night he told me it's because she kept pushing him about getting his hair cut, how, and said he's not the person she used to know and he's not taking care of himself. My husband used to be a bodybuilder and would go out with his buddies to hang out or party all the time when he was in his early 20s but has grown up and has other priorities now. He told her that time if she didn't stop he would leave. She pressed more so he walked out and came home. I encouraged him to keep doing that. Whoa, you made it to the end? Nice. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm a new channel, and it helps a lot more than you think. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.